See if I can do this one handed. Big turn. Oh, a little wide, a little wide. Okay, Saturday afternoon. Uh, I spent most of the morning just checking the corn I planted yesterday to see what uh, the spacing was like from the fertilizer and the corn seed. It uh, varied a fair bit, uh, and I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, talked to the guys from Alari, they're pretty helpful, just making sure that all the signs are right. Uh, my thing is, I'm wondering if I actually have too much down pressure on my uh, fertilizer coulter bar at the front uh, and it might be kind of pushing up on things and making it wiggle around uh, so I'm going to take a look at that I went over to see that 100 acres that we cultivated the other day uh, yesterday and it's still gooey where I'm going to put the corn seed so we've got a good inch of soil but that bottom inch like because we plant corn at two inches that two inch depth is gummy. It's like you can make a ball out of it. It's cold and wet. So I'm just gonna let it sit. Uh, so we're actually opening up another field. Sandy's cultivating right now over at a uh, farm we tiled uh, last fall. Uh, we're gonna have to do it probably three times just because it's rough. Uh, I try to level out the tile runs as best we can but uh, it's pretty bumpy so it looks like uh, it's going to have to uh, get worked three times and there's a ton of stones so we're going to be busy picking stones there so I kind of want to open it up to get those stones picked but uh, right now kind of see behind me I'm running the strip freshener uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job uh, I can maybe stop and get out and take a look. So pardon the wind because I don't have a good mic yet for my camera, but that's the strip freshener. It might look a little clumpy, but it breaks up pretty good. We're kind of going right about where the seed's going, so inch and a half inch and three quarters I think that's pretty good get it opened up and get some air at it get it to dry out so that's the strip freshener uh, just a quick look at it pretty happy with how it's working I'm gonna keep going here it's about 36 acres I can do here the other side's a little too wet to do um, so at least if we can get this side done that'd be nice maybe plant it tomorrow we'll see how it goes we're just uh, we're picking our battles here we aren't pushing the planter but we're trying to open up some soil and get it warmed up and dried out uh, it's just been frustrating uh, especially when they're calling for rain again, but uh, we just we're just gonna do what we can do and hope for the best But uh, anyways, we're gonna keep plugging along here, and we'll see how it goes. Good morning. It's Sunday shadows Sun So nice outside. Uh, it's the first Day actually feels like summer uh, Walking out of the house here at like 730 and I got a t-shirt on and I'm warm we're gonna go like hell at corn uh, today. Uh, we got a whole bunch of ground ready yesterday. That strip freshener worked out really well. I didn't really get a chance to get much footage on it uh, just because it was really rough. I'm hoping I got another couple fields I gotta do with it so I probably will try to get some footage uh, with it working when I do those two other fields. Hoping today we can get at least 100 plus acres in. Uh, we're really hoping to get some of our longer day corn in that we haven't switched out yet. Uh, and then I feel pretty comfortable about the maturity of the stuff I have that I got left to plant. So she's going to be uh, full on, full on. We're going to get the planter loaded up with uh, seed, 
liquid fertilizer and dry fertilizer. Uh, we're gonna stuff her full uh, this time and see how far that gets us, but I'm hoping we can do about 40-ish acres of load. So, got a little 16 acre piece that uh, is pretty decent that we can do. Uh, then 38 acres, and then I got that 100 probably by later today will go. So, likely we'll try to get these two smaller fields done, and then if uh, the weather cooperates, they're talking a chance of thunderstorms, uh, then uh, we'll maybe try to move to uh, that 100 acre piece and try to get it planted. But uh, we're just gonna pick away at what we can do and go from there. Okay, got the seed in the planter, uh, 24 bags, that's good for 50 acres roughly, I don't know. Fertilizer wagon set up with the auger, it's going to put liquid fertilizer in now, fold it up and go over and fill with dry and then uh, hopefully hit the fields. She's full throttle. Whoa. a little loud from the blower on my planter. We're just uh, plant into uh, some stale seed beds. So these are strips that were made last fall here and this is what it looks like planting into it. It's going pretty good.
Plant around two inches. Ground's really nice and friable, just the right amount of moisture. Not too much like we've been dealing with. And uh, that's the ground temperature, 23 degrees. in the strip so anyways I'm gonna keep at her okay it's been a hell of a Sunday morning uh, just had a really crappy start uh, just I think I'm tired doing some stupid stuff I'll be honest I'm glad I didn't have the camera rolling because I went to pull away from my fertilizer auger and I realized I can't pull away I gotta back up because the fertilizer opener part I can slide under the auger but the planter can't Guess what? I hit the planter on the auger and knocked the auger over into my fertilizer coolers. Anyways, I undid that pretzel, uh, wrecked the light on my cart, a warning light, pissed me off. But anyways, uh, we're going. Everything seems to be going really well. Uh, the fertilizer openers, I took off that pressure on the front, uh, the height anyways, I raised it up and took a lot of, I think I just had too much pressure on the openers and uh, it's doing a really good job today so I'm really happy about that. Uh, things are going pretty good, knock on wood. Uh, the only thing that's still giving me some hiccups is my starter fertilizer so I think it could be a loose wire or back connection. We're planting into strips I made last fall. Uh, we took some uh, oats and peas off this field for green feed because uh, we were short last year of the dry with the dry weather and uh, establishing the hay a hay stand so uh, once uh, the oats and peas got cut off this I stripped it uh, with my Orthman six row one tripper and uh, now we're just playing into the stale strips really happy with how this is working uh, I had my issues with it there Friday but I think that was my startup day but uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's going uh, the openers are running where they should be uh, everything seems to be going pretty good uh, we're planting it nice it's interesting uh, soil temperature there are about three to three degrees temperature change Celsius between the strips and the bare dirt in, or the dirt in between. Uh, so it's interesting to see. Today's the first real warm day, like I said. So uh, everything's just. Where do you want the stone plant? Everything's just going well the way it should. I asked Sandy, the, the stones should go at the bush at the back, just uh, inside as far as you can reach with the loader into the bush. Yeah, this uh, little 16 acre piece will have a lot done here shortly. And then we're going to the farm that we uh, did yesterday with the strip freshener. I'm gonna plant that, so gonna chug along. <sighs> Let me give you an update. Hashtag plant19 is on hold again. I got the little 16 acre field planted uh, and it went down really well. And I switched the field that I was running the strip freshener in and just got the headlands planted and she was getting dark to the southwest and with the dry fertilizer uh, even though it has got a tarp on it uh, I don't trust it I pulled the pin and got home and basically just got it. the tractor in the shed in the nick of time this is what we're dealing with right now puddles Uh, based on the rain gauge, it looks like about 410 so far. But we got more moving through and another band coming. So I think we're toast for a little while. And who knows what's going to happen. I'm a little frustrated because uh, I got fertilizer in the planter. I don't like having dry sitting around like that in something because I don't want it to set up and get hard. So a little worried about that. Um, I got seed in there that was the longer day stuff, but it is what it is. 
Uh, can't change it. That wraps up this week on the farm. Uh, it was a good week actually. We got a lot done. Uh, a little frustrated with today's weather. Um, tomorrow's a holiday, uh, Victoria Day, Monday. So I think we'll just maybe try to take it easy and actually kick back and relax. Uh, and then we'll see uh, what uh, this next week brings uh, for us. We've got to ship some corn and maybe do a bit more electrical, but uh, hopefully we get into the fields here and get this crop planted. It's uh, starting to really drag on, which is bad because we haven't really hardly even started to say it's dragging on, but I know a lot of guys around our way are really frustrated. Uh, but Mother Nature's the boss. We can only do what we can do, but... Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, uh, and we'll see you next week.